This is One on One. Dr. Junlei Lee, who is a um, senior lecturer in early childhood education at Harvard Graduate School of Education, also a senior fellow at Fred Rogers Center for Early Learning and Children's Media. Good to see you, doctor. Good to see you, Stephen. The main message in your keynote today was so powerful, and it really comes from Fred Rogers. A lot of the theme is about Dr. Fred, excuse me, Fred Rogers, um, and his work on PBS starting in 1968. Love and early childhood. Make the connection, doctor. I think Fred would often say that none of us grow to be who we are and grow to a place where we can serve other people without having been loved and accepted for who we are when we were young and along the way as well. And I think Fred tried to be that one of those people through television screen, but he really believed so strongly that it is important to surround children with people who can love and support them and encourage them and listen to them over time. Mm. And I think love, love not just as a feeling, but as in very concrete actions. For example? Well, I'll give you an example. So we, part of our work takes place in orphanages. Right? And orphanages are places where people have high workload and the work process in the orphanage is almost like an assembly line where you have to get all these children through. But we see orphanage caregivers showing love in something as mundane as a diaper change. Mm. To be able to take just a few extra seconds, right, instead of just picking up a child and go to the next one, maybe they'll twirl their fingers just for the infant to clap down to the fingers and pull themselves up. Just a few seconds, right? And that is love. And to be able to find love in the most simple, mundane, everyday moments, whether it is in an orphanage or in a home or childcare or preschool, I think that is at the very core of what early learning is all about. Part of our Right From The Start NJ initiative focuses on the role of the media in helping to inform, educate, inspire, which is originally why PBS was created. Question, Fred Rogers used children's media in a certain way. Talk about media today and the degree to which it does what I just described compared to what Fred had in mind. I think Fred, from the very beginning, from the 1950s, thought that television as a medium could be used for education purposes and to draw attention to what is good in life. And clearly, the media world have changed tremendously since Fred's time, but I think one of the things that Fred have often talked about is that deep and simple is far more essential than shallow and complex. Say that again. Deep and simple is far more essential than shallow and complex. Mm. And if you think about kind of the media world we have now, not, <laughs> not just for children, but for grown-ups, yes. and we can, we can see the complexity, we can see the superficial shallowness of a lot of it. And I think when Fred retired from television, he, when he was accepting, I think, the Lifetime Achievement yes. Award from the industry, he had this one call to all of those who are in the world of producing and designing media. And that call was, how do we make goodness attractive? How do we use the tools that we have, the voices and the platforms we have to make goodness attractive? And I just always think about that whenever I, I watch an interview on TV or see something coming off the phone, I just think about, does that make goodness attractive? He didn't have Twitter in mind, did he? Probably not. <laughs> Let me think of that in all seriousness. Yeah. Uh, social media, I don't want to get into, uh, open up a huge Pandora's box, but Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, they were good to each other. They were kind to each other. Um, there's not a lot of kindness. There's not a lot of love on social media. I think all of us play a part in that, right? So that it's not just the ones who send out something mean and, and, and ugly. It's the rest of the social media world that shares it or that comments it, either in agreement or disagreement. But every time we do that, mm -hmm. I think we're drawing attention 
to that which is ugly and mean-spirited. What does it do to our children? I think Fred often said when it comes to children, children's learning, that attitudes are caught, not taught. And so that children catch from us how we think about the world, whether we react to the world in an angry way, whether we rush to judgment when we see something that comes from the, the media, whatever that outlet is. And I think children can feel what we're feeling, except they can't quite understand it. So that I, I think Fred, and I still believe that fundamentally, is that if we embrace what is good, not only in media, but in our own neighborhoods, children will catch that from us as well. You're hopeful. I'm very hopeful. Because? Because in our work across the country, across countries, in some of the most dire, low resource, at risk settings, from urban neighborhoods to poor rural neighborhoods torn apart by the opioid crisis, to oncology units in hospitals, to group homes for youth. In every place we see ordinary people through their simple everyday acts of love, helping children and helping each other. And every time we're with people like that, we feel that the world is hopeful. If only we can bring more spotlight and attention to the goodness that's embodied in these moments. Those people are applauding in there. They might as well be applauding, applauding for Dr. Lee right now, the keynote speaker of this very important conference. Uh, the Terrell Fund, Day for Children, the Importance of Love in Early Childhood. We're actually coming to you from uh, the Coach Barn at Shelburne Farms in Vermont. Um, a whole series of convers conversations we're having with the folks here in Vermont who are in many ways leading the way in the nation when it comes to dealing with childhood issues or early childhood and child care issues. Dr. June Lei Lee, um, I want to thank you for being with us. You honor us by your presence. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you for using your platform and voice to draw attention to the importance of early learning. Our honor. Thank you. Thank you. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Funding has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association, the Turrell Fund, supporting right from the start NJ, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, NJIT, Holy Name Medical Center, the Russell Berry Foundation, and by ADP. Promotional support provided by NJ.com and by New Jersey Family Magazine and NJFamily.com. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.